Hey, Bjorn Strong in the arm here. Welcome to RimWorld. Welcome back to the Rim. As promised, I am just about to launch into a brand new RimWorld game. And in fact, let's go ahead and just do that. And we'll talk about like what's gonna be going on and so on uh, as we do that. I think I do wanna just start with the usual kind of classic, uh, as it says, crash landed three survivors kind of scenario. And what I'm really looking for here is kind of a chill game where I can get back and play a little RimWorld kind of all over again. It's been a long time since I've done that. So I think I'm definitely gonna go with Randy as the storyteller. That has been my go-to storyteller for the most part. And I, I have sort of a love-hate relationship with Randy. I sort of, you know, I, I sort of oscillate between hating him with the sort of fury of a thousand sons and wanting him to be the father of my RimWorld babies. So it kind of goes back and forth there. But um, but I think I will, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna go on medium here because I'm kind of less interested in trying to totally stare down the opposition. And I just wanna have some kind of fun stories. And if medium gets kind of boring, we'll bump it up from there. But we're gonna start that way, partly just so I can uh, get some of the rust out because I'm definitely going to be rusty. Uh, it's been two years, I think I mentioned, since I played RimWorld really and um, kind of ever since I played RimWorld 1.0. I mean, I spent maybe an hour just messing around before starting this. And I'm also going to reload anytime just because of the nature of doing YouTube. Like if I have... Uh, if I have my power go out in the middle of an episode or something and then it crashes, I don't want to lose my game forever. But we'll just, uh, you know, just be honest about it and we'll go ahead and randomize i'll make this a hundred percent world which means it's gonna take a while to um generate it let's try uh i'm bach no i'm back as a little bit of a seed and uh, see what we get all right here we go uh, calm no sagal that's quite the ocean uh, looks like we've sort of got a palm motion. Got a pole up there and a pole down there where you expect them at the top and bottom. Um, I think I would like to crash land somewhere that at least has a reasonable amount of woodlands. Probably a temperate forest would be a good place to start. Uh, we should also check out actually what our factions are. So the purple and yellow don't hate us uh, everyone else kind of does so somewhere near some purple or near some yellow this is kind of near both down here it's also a little near some pirates which i don't love we could be right kind of close to the road here this is some small hills that's some large hills we have year-round growing here also which is really really handy um I'm thinking maybe around here, year-round growing, 65 to 78. I am using Fahrenheit temperature because that is my kind of native tongue that I naturally understand. Um, we got some large hills and let's see how long would it take to get. It only takes 0.17 days uh, to get to the road from there. So that's all I think pretty good actually. Anything not to like? The 1.2 year disease is not fantastic, but I guess we'll just have to suck it up. Uh, it's got berries, animals can graze. It all looks great, to be honest. And who do we got here? Let's just see what we have. Right off the bat, we've got, okay, someone who's quite the fighter and can do some crafting. That's really good. Uh, someone who can't do any fighting, that's not fantastic. Someone who can, oh, who's a total addict, not my favorite. Some real intellectual and construction and more crafting, that looks promising. Some A lot of, wait, was that who I already had? No, I have two people who can't do violence. Um, good shooter, some animals, more intellectual. Do we have any cooking? Some passion for cooking. How are our plants doing? Seven on plants. Wait, but that's with her in there. The medieval doctor, we do need a doctor. That's an option too. I'm just kind of looking, animals, crafting, construction. That's uh, it's really low on the cooking. I don't like that. I want someone who can, does anyone have passion for cooking? No, in fact, one person can't even do it. 
Tons of intellectual, good uh, construction mining. I mean, the only... Wait, what? Well, I have five medical and I have a medieval doctor with... Oh, wait. Two. That explains it. Um, okay, so much for the medieval doctor. Yeah, I think actually uh, Howard here will uh, need to go down. So this will be our crew that we'll take down. Uh, this will be, be our group. And uh, as you may know, I have a list of people who'd like to be in the colony. And I've done a um, drawing before uh, starting this to see like who the names would be. And uh, we've got for males names, we had Nico who came up uh, first in the drawing. So welcome, Nico. You're about to get jettisoned off this ship. And we have also uh, Yakov. Oh. Um, and I can't put any spaces, it seems. Or even underscores. But actually, in the beginning here, uh, Kulikov. We can do that. And we'll just make Jakov the first name. Yakov. Yakov Kulikov, uh, a military commissar, and female, we have Snake. Amelia Snake Flace, or however you want to say that. So they will be our team. Let's uh, get them down. They've just been woken up on their ship. They're hearing the screeching and the problems. They awoke in their crypto sleep car sarcophagi to the sound of sirens ripping metal. They barely get to their escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, they land in this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that was unexpected. All right, here we are. Now, so we can meet these. I haven't read the, read the bios before. We can meet who these people are. Before we do that, a little bit of just kind of background. Um, I do have some mods uh, here. Um, so there's uh, th these are all quality of life mods. If you have suggestions, I am open to hearing some, but I really I sort of want to just play a more or less vanilla game of RimWorld before I start getting into really like majorly game changing mods. These are all just kind of quality of life. The mod manager and the rim saves, that's kind of behind the scenes stuff you have to worry about. Um Path Avoid is this nice mod that will let me sort of put pathing costs, so basically encourage my pawns to take certain paths and avoid other ones. There's the quest tab, which adds this new quest down here that when they kind of pop up and you dismiss them, uh, it'll you can pull that up and see, see the list of the open quests. The relations tab is actually really cool. Uh, it lets you see what the relationships are between your colonists and then also the relationships between the factions. And if I actually move um, him to the middle there, it's kind of, you can just kind of see it's, it's not really centered. Well, I don't want to pin him. Um, let's just kind of switch these around, move him over there and then unpin him. And then you can see here, um, these ones, are, the red ones are the hostile. So here's the three ones that we're hostile with. Uh, here are two that were, wait a minute, two that we're neutral with. Uh, okay, maybe I don't understand this. <laughs> Left click to select. All right. There we go. Okay. And we uh, cl click it and then we get the list. Um, right. So three reds, that's okay. Something was going through me and was confusing me. Uh, sees like who's kind of feels what with what. And then if I click on them, everybody hates them. You can see, click on them. Um, only, it's only the mindless outfit there that really hates them. So, that's kind of, that's really cool. Uh, other mods we have, it's in the options, of course. Um, RimWorld search engine, just to be able to search a little bit. The work tab, I've got like more control over the work, which is really nice. I have, I do have a hospitality mod, which I think is really helpful just by telling visitors like where they should stay and stuff like that. And the more planning mod, which allows me to um, get, I'm gonna show you, just get kind of extra different colors 
with planning for some more uh, detail in there. Now, with that out of the way, we want to see who we've got and then see where we are. So, first of all, here we have... Oh, as for this mod, I don't see it on there. You can cl right-click on here and see everything. We have Nico, who was a wealthy student as a child. He was born on a wealthy glitter world. He studied at the Caspian School of Engineering and excelled in mathematics and computer programming. He grew up in a clean, sterile environment. He never saw farm or livestock, so he can't do animals, cooking, cleaning, or plant work. He's in a hall, that's fine. Then he became a roboticist. He felt more comfortable with robots and artificial intelligence uh, than with organic people, so he worked as a roboticist. He took a particular interest in mechanites and ancient technology. He relied on other people for his basic needs. So that gives him like the great crafting, the great construction, intellectual. He is a sickly wimp. So basically, he's going to die real soon. Sorry, Nico. Uh, for Snake, she was a foundry apprentice as a child uh, in an industrial world. This experience gave her metalworking skills and strong muscles, but stunted her artistic development. And then combat engineer. She became a combat engineer. She built bases, fixed guns, repaired vehicles for the army, which wasn't shooting at people. Uh, she can do anything. She's a transhumanist. So she'd like some biotech. She's got a really great memory, which is really good. She'll lose unused skills at half the rate. That's really good. And she's a night owl. So we'll have to give her kind of the right uh, schedule for that. And then Yakov was a wreckage explorer as a child. Two generations before he was born, an apocalyptic war dragged his home planet into anarchy. Yakov was tasked with watching his tribe's herds, but often shirked his duties to go exploring the crashed warships scattered around the planet. And then he became a military commissar. He was an internal spy master in an Imperial Army battalion. He made sure the men were loyal and did not fall back unless ordered. This made him unpopular, but he gained great skill at detecting the slightest dishonesty. And he's got some shooting skills as well. He's slothful, which sucks, and he has a chemical fascination, but he doesn't seem to have any uh, addictions for his fascination, which is kind of nice. Now, this looks... Okay, I'm not in love with this map, but we could probably build a real kind of central base around here. And then I mean, it's not like any one obvious place that will funnel people into, but we can use a lot of the natural kind of uh, small hills and stuff. This almost certainly has some mechs in it, I'm sure. Um, or maybe some crypto sleep people who want to kill us. So, okay, that's what we've got. And we'll start thinking about how you want to do that soon. But for right now, let's start, let's get... Snake was the person who really, really knows how to shoot, right? That's right. So Snake, why don't you come and grab the hunting rifle? Nico, you are the weakling, so, uh, sorry. So. Wait, I, he can't wear the flak vest? Okay, it made a weird noise that he couldn't. And Yakov, you come grab the pistol. So Nico, we'll get you like really all um, hooked up with stuff, but then we'll also make you go and stab people with a knife. So, cause that's how we roll. Uh, we'll go and unforbid some stuff. There's nowhere to move it just yet. We'll fix that sooner rather than later. Now, I don't know if there's more of these scattered around the map. Yeah, there, there's some over here as well, it looks like. So let's get as many of these as we can. Uh, we don't want to miss out on any meals early on. And then, oh, and uh, Nico, I won't, yeah, we've got more for you to do. So grab the knife. And then what we'll do is we'll come, I think this would be a good place to start by putting a stockpile zone just to get everything in. And we can also just put a couple of wooden doors really quickly here and here. And uh, Nico, actually, did you get that knife? I'm not sure if you did. So yes, you did equip that plasteel knife. Good for you. Uh, unforbid the components and once we get this roof up, uh, we want to move that stuff around and then we probably want to start really soon on getting a growing zone up and getting some, uh, hold on a second, getting a growing, growing zone up 
and getting like a refrigerator area up and starting to worry about our food because starvation sucks. We want to try to avoid that. That's my, there's my pro, my pro RimWorld tip. By the way, uh, if you like came here having seen my RimWorld science and like thinking that you were going to finally see professional RimWorlder like play at a really high level, I, I'm sorry, you are totally in the wrong spot. Uh, this is going to be just a hot mess of mistakes and errors and unforced errors and idiocy because, I mean, I've got a brand to uphold, so uh, I will have to, you know, can't let down my fans, but that is what uh, you're going to have to expect. So let's see. I would like, it'd be nice to get a little bit of planning started, to be honest. Um, I don't see any real places where I see rich soil. There might be some up here, but it's it's too far away. There's some way up here, but it is too far away to make it worth the walk, to be honest. I, I really want to be in the center of the map for all this. Uh, so whenever people show up, we've got plenty of time to kind of deal with them. So I think what I might do is start by actually putting we should actually be chopping some wood while we're at it too but what i was going to say is let's kind of start with it but start by putting a growing zone kind of right in the middle and maybe we can kind of organize in some ways a uh, base around some growing zones so i'm actually going to do a little bit of planning so i'll be back in a moment Okay, so here's what I came up with. I was thinking that well, each of these right here is just the right size uh, to be inside a sun lamp. So we can eventually, if we have growing zones of that shape, we can build around them and put a roof on there. And then if we get uh, fallout or a volcano or something like that, it's, it's, not, it's not a problem. We can kind of grow there. So we can just start with our growing zones in there. And I thought it'd be fun to make a kind of circle-based base. And eventually maybe we'll build like a circle-like perimeter about around the whole thing. Um, and we can put more of these growing zones kind of in the corners as well. But then each one of these kind of circles could be a unit. And I didn't try to color code them or anything. Now, one thing that we should notice right away is that uh, this probably, this circle will probably have to, in fact, we'll even cut it out right now. I'll go to the planning here. Um, cut out at least some of this. And we'll, the natural way to do it would just be to cut out uh, a kind of like this, a, a, a it's in a pie shape because we'll want to put a thermo nuclear or a geothermal no nuclear generator right here it's kind of the only generator or only geothermal kind of port that i saw that was convenient but when we get those that's going to put out like a ton of power and that means it does kind of make sense to make this at least at the beginning be food storage area in part because come up food storage here and then we'll be able to um, have to go to other kind of storages in here and I'm not sure I kind of think feel like the best way to do that would be make the food like make this whole half circle the food storage and then put kitchens up here and then we could have like uh, living quarters over here and kind of dining room and recreation stuff up here so that is my uh, plan, what I kind of want to go for. I'm going to keep everybody working kind of slow for now. And then I'll start with some zones. I'll start with a growing zone, I think, kind of, let's just do half of one for now. And we'll start out with some rice here. Rice being a good kind of starter thing to do. And we'll go ahead and... And I haven't thought about it. I guess I was thinking the walls would actually be like this. Oh, I already, I already did that wrong. Sh shocking. Absolutely nobody. Um, kind of... Actually, the walls here will actually be on the... Uh, on the purple. As opposed to kind of... Just, uh, on the outside of it. And... I should probably have a door and I, oh, I screwed it up again because I want to do the whole half circle. Well, what I'll do is I'll do just this for right now. This will also be a little bit easier to keep cool. Now, let's go ahead and put the cooler in here before it gets too late. And we're going to have to have some sort of power kind of to this as well. I'm not sure what that should be just now. 
Um, we don't have a lot of options. I guess for right now, we should probably just have a wood fire generator. But it does mean we're going to have to be really, really working on uh, keeping our wood kind of chopped. That's going to be a real critical thing. Nico, are you not able to do um, wood chopping? So... It's a little weird. I have to turn my head in the side to read all these. Uh, is that plant cutting? I guess it is. I don't see why snake can't do that. Now, I guess while I got this open, I could go ahead and or go to... Um, what's this? Not that one. Dang. That's, I'll talk about that in a second. Go back. Uh, to the, the numbers version of this. And I believe that the mod actually has nine uh, versions here. Uh, nine um, layer, layers of priority as opposed to three. So it gives a lot more kind of fine tuning that way. Other things it does is you can set things like different priorities at different times. I'm not quite sure that that's worth it at this point that I, w I don't know that I want to be messing around with that kind of thing, to be honest. Um, but that is, a th that is one thing. So we have one door there. You know what, we should put another door here because that's where uh kind of the growing will get out of now actually is anybody assigned to gr to growing yakov is what is he doing right now he's cloud watching uh yakov could you yeah you could you could now other thing we should do we learned i think with snake is a night owl Nobody else is, but Snake is. So if we go to the restriction, oh, I should also assign uh, everybody. I like the one drink per day policy. Like, you know, you got to kick back at five, have, have a brew. I get that, but it should be, you know, just the just the one. Um, I'll deal with food later. I do think everybody could be probably we'll say herbal met well let's for right now we'll say industrial tech and then we'll go back to there we go and then we can go back to herbal after we've harvested some because there is heel root kind of all around here but what it's starting to do is um sort these out so what we want is we want a kind of a work day basically and so the natural thing for the people who aren't night owls is um I mean, sort of the regular nine to five is is kind of uh, natural to do, I guess. So we can definitely do that and then have sleep. And then one thing that is often smart is to have some kind of overlapping recreation time because what we're then going to do is have um, Snake, who's our night owl, do... Uh, basically be sleeping when these guys are working and working when these guys are sleeping, but then they have some social time together and also some kind of free time. Actually, I want to change that up. I think let people do whatever they want when they first get up in the morning, but then before, after a little bit of work, then have, go have some recreation. Now, I was also thinking, I think I want some recreation up here. So let's go ahead, let's build... Uh, it actually makes sense, I think, to have the recreation and food down here. It's going to be a little closer to where the food is. So I, I, I kind of changed my mind here. So let's do some furniture. Let's put a three by three table maybe there for now. You can always move it later. And some chairs i'll do the full six so if we have visitors or whatever they can come and visit us as well uh we'll put, do crafting and stuff like that over in this sector and then this will be the place for beds we don't have any cloth so we're gonna have to make wooden beds i guess and why is that not gotten hauled i feel like i guess i just have people busy on other stuff although yakov you're not hauling uh and you're I guess you're just too good to haul. Maybe you're just trying to get a little bit of... Um, it's dark. Okay. A little bit of recreation. Okay, you're currently recreating. You're not. And you're well recreated, so you're probably fine. Anyway, so we've got that. We also need some sort of recreation. So let's splurge ourselves on a steel horseshoe pin. 
Um, kind of right around here. I don't know. We can always move that later. And then go back to those beds. For now, they'll just be outdoor beds. I have to think about exactly what I want this to look like. Probably have a double hall right here. And then... Just kind of put three beds there. Um, more trees getting chopped. Wait, did this not get sewed after all? Now that I've got a few things in, I do want the planning. One nice thing about this mod is you can then make it go away and just see what's actually there. So, Yakov, what time is it? It is 21 o'clock. Okay, so it is recreation time. Fair, fair. And so you're gonna go chop during your rec time? I don't know, dude. I don't know what's what are you up to, but um, we could probably speed things up a bit now, I guess. Wouldn't be a terrible idea either. See how the first night goes. We've got our uh, our pet Adonis is sleeping. Thank you for noticing. Uh, Nico found a spot in the ground. Yakov Snake is gonna work the night through. Let's see, and she's gonna have a, a survival meal. Maybe we'll see what she does. Um, she's... Okay, she's building... Man, we need someone to get on hauling. Not sure... Who I really want for that. Because I, I kind of like... I think Snake is a pretty good builder, right? Yeah, she's, she's great. Let's look at the quality of the stuff she's made. A good dining chair, like on day one? That's... That's, you know... That's clutch, that's fantastic. Love it. But I just don't want my medicine to deteriorate. You know, and then also, I don't know how to turn off autosave. If, if anyone knows how to turn off autosave, do let me know because that would be super duper helpful. Um, some more wood chopping. People should be waking up here reasonably soon. There's Nico. Uh, gonna have a little bit of a breakfast and then gonna build the horseshoe pin and working on the generator, which is not super priority, I guess, but uh, whatever, okay. Um, more tree chopping. Wait, Nico, maybe Nico just won't cut trees. Um, is it, I'm actually, now I will, oops, just pop this open uh, to see where, if I can find it, where tree chopping is. I'm thinking it's in, um, cut plants So there's construct cook tailor art craft hall um, I didn't mean to change that There uh, Craft okay. Yeah, that's fine, but hall wow, I gotta turn my head sideways which is not my favorite and then I sometimes click this when I'm trying to click the slider bar Okay, but entertain, handle, warden, bed rest. Okay. Not seeing it. Not seeing it at all. Well, Yakov is chopping now. And there have been some rice plants planted. So that's a start. This is um, connected now. So once that actually gets. Uh, fueled is the wrong word. Once that gets started, uh, we'll be going pretty good, I guess. Wood. Okay, you know, Snake, what you up to? Building more chairs? I like that about you, but could you just move this stuff really quick? Just get that hauled because I don't want... If we get sick or whatever, that's not what I asked you to do. That's what I asked you to do. All right, then you can go back, yeah, chop the wood, get that that running, and we're gonna have to get on research really, really soon here. Uh, so we can get some, some batteries, and then we can start using like um, kind of wind turbines. That's an option that's available for us. Or what are you up to, Snake? You're harvesting an oak tree, good, good. Okay, so this is up and running. So now we can go ahead, I'm just keeping an eye on our food. That's what I'm really worried about is starving too early so let's just get get this down below freezing and then let's put in a uh, stockpile zone and then we'll do oops I don't want it there so 
how to uh, shoot. How do I just, I don't want to deconstruct the door. So how do I just remove one square from a zone? Cancel? Come on. That didn't do it. Shrink zone, thank you. Thank you, Tynan or whoever did that. I think that used to not be there. Anyway, this is gonna be, um, have to be edited now for what we can and can't do in here. So we're gonna clear all for starters. And then we're gonna, foods, we're gonna allow meals and raw food and chocolate, but not hay, kibble, or pemmican. And also corpses will allow animal corpses. But here they've gotta be fresh. So no rotten food. A wild man uh, wanders in. You can attempt to tame him or arrest him. Okay, where is this guy? Uh, down this way. So, Nico, can you, um, how, do, how do I do this? Health, no, needs, bio, log, no. I don't want to arrest him. Um, so I'm have to be like assigned to animal handling for that. Let's close this back up. I, I can't, um, Yakov is my animal handler. I can't arrest. How do you tell, how do you tame somebody? That seems bizarre. Bizarre and weird and totally on brand for this game. Okay, and with that ringing endorsement and with the sun setting on the rim, we will take a little break here. Uh, we'll come back to the rim soon. We'll see what's uh, going on with all of our peeps and try to get things set up a little, um, little more betterer. But uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.